Hey friends, we are back for our final installation video and I saved the best for last. I'm gonna do the Nuna Rev. Um, why I say that is that this one would probably be my pick of the four rotating seats that I showed. Um, the reason being is I like the safety features on it the best. I like the installation probably the best and it's the most premium. So I'm definitely a little bit biased. They're all good seats for different reasons, but we'll install this one just to show you. So um, installing it, you're gonna start with the back panel here. And just like with the even flow, we're gonna hook up this back tether first piece. Let me get the seat back, keep bumping that button. And again, we don't have to make it extremely tight initially. We just want it attached. Although, I am gonna tighten it up just cause I don't want 800 pounds of cord sitting around. So that's a little bit better. Now I'm gonna rotate the seat. Um, probably easiest would be this direction. Although, let me try it this way. Both similarly easy reclines both ways, but the point is you're going to want it to be this direction and then you're going to open up this section for your belt installation. So I'm actually going to get in to do this guy since I have it spun towards you, the viewer. There's a piece down here that reads lap belt only. So we're just going to want to make sure that we route our lap belt on both sides through that little piece. I'm noticing in this vehicle, I'm gonna have to tighten this slightly before I route it, just so I can clear one section of the seat belt. And every car is different. So I've got that very, very tight. And now I'm gonna go ahead and close this. And then I'm gonna take my seat belt and run it behind here, but in front of this guy, and then pull my belt all the way out to lock it off. Let it tighten back in. Our base at this point is not moving, so it's correctly installed. Let me spin this and get out of here. And that is really tight. You can see here we have the anti-rebound plate, which I kept harping on with a baby jogger, which it doesn't have. All the other options have this in an accident that's gonna prevent the seat from flipping up this way, which is really critical. Um, so getting back into some of those premium features I was speaking of, one of them is that there is a magnetic piece on the side. The other thing is there's cup holder uh, that's included with this that I have not attached. All of the seats shown pretty much come with cup holders or have attachable cup holders. I'm just not focused on that. We've got the magnets to hold that piece out of the way, which I think is quite clever. Adjustable crotch buckle. And again, height adjustment here. Now this is what's really nice. Depending on who's driving and who they're picking up. So if you're going to drop off one grandkid and going to get a different one, this seat is awesome because the, re, uh, the rotation is super easy and the recline is doable in both directions. So I'm gonna rotate the seat toward me. Now I can have my older nephew or grandchild, child in here. I'm able to get recline on a long trip. This is like the number one thing parents ask about and most seats you have to uninstall the entire seat, adjust the recline and then reinstall it. This guy's awesome because you wouldn't need to do that. And again, on paper, Cybex does theoretically all of this, but doing any of it is so difficult that it doesn't feel particularly intuitive. Um, biggest drawback, again, of this guy is going to be the 40-pound weight limit. But for me, I think the bigger benefit of that is it's really primarily intended to be a rear-facing seat that spins out toward you. And the forward facing would just be a bonus. Um, so it's sort of the opposite of the even flow where that one's trying to do everything. And my gripe with it is that it doesn't do everything super well. It does everything okay, but nothing particularly well. This has the most fluidity for sure with this motion, uh, the most fluidity in the harness, 
The cleverest piece is on the side. And yes, you would need an additional seat moving forward, but I would argue with any of the four seats that we went over, you are still probably going to need an additional car seat at the end unless you force your kid to use that uh, Revolve as a booster, which again, I think would be incredibly difficult for them to be able to reach these buckle pieces once they're sitting in it, especially with the placement of the legs in relationship to the body. I'm gonna grab my little dolly. We'll rotate it just to see that. This is the most centered. All of this I'm able to do with one hand. I wanna make sure that gets fully tucked behind. Um, but yeah, so you're paying the most it wouldn't be a seat that you would have, you know, forever, but in general, I'm not a huge proponent of forever seats to begin with. I think having seats do specific things very well is a greater value to me than having them do everything. Um, so for what this is supposed to accomplish, I think it does a really beautiful job and I think it has some additional luxury features that parents always ask about um, that no one else has been able to really hit on as well. So really enjoy the rev i think even though at its price point it's the most expensive it is a justified uh, top of its class in terms of use so those are the rotating car seats if you've got any questions just let us know thank you so much for taking this trip with us and uh, follow us and come back for other videos